Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. Wanted to take a few minutes, introduce you to a, uh, a new device that we're pretty excited about. Um, uh, to the best of our knowledge, it, uh, it is unique in the role that it fills. And uh, I guess in the role that we imagine uh, needed to be filled. Um, I know myself uh, and some of our guys as ham operators. When we started discussing uh, what we've uh, what we've we've called the DC head unit, um, we really kind of surprised that uh, that there's nothing out there like this. I realize you can make something like this if you bring separate components together yourself, um, but the uh, the functionality, the size, and the price point we think is. Uh, is, is worth being kind of excited about. Um, essentially what you've got is a, uh, a device that can accept DC power anywhere from 7 volts on up to 40. That incoming power comes through the back here through some standard Andersons. The power feeds directly to the front Anderson and to the meter. Now what that means of course is as soon as you apply power to this device this Anderson is hot and the meter lights up. And as such it's unfused, unswitched, unprotected. Uh, that, uh, that power is simply routed directly to the Anderson and to the meter. Um, and we think that makes sense. You, you could have a, a rig that has a significant initial uh, amp draw um, or uh, uh, a rig that already has uh, some sort of uh, fuse protection, of course, built in, um, so the, the the circuit breaker would be redundant anyway. Um, but that does allow us to to rate this at 35 amps very comfortably, um, and the meter will handle uh, actually a lot more than that. So no worries about the equipment being able to protect itself if you put unprotected DC um, in through the back. Once you've done that, if you also uh, flip the main switch, you then energize the rear distribution block. Uh, and that distribution block is protected by a circuit breaker, 20 amps total. Um, there are no fuses to replace, nothing like that to worry about here. It's, it's circuit breaker protected. Um, this switch also activates the front mounted USB driver. Um, and this works out nice. This is the same internal driver that we use on our uh, nano USB product. Um, it's a real robust, real powerful 3 amp uh, USB driver. It's using the, the latest uh, identification circuit we can get our hands on. So, so far we're batting a, batting a thousand when it comes to compatibility with fussy devices like Apple and, and Samsung and some of the others. Um, but in any event, uh, you can appreciate its size. You're talking about something that weighs less than a pound. Um, uh, real rugged, anodized aluminum housing. Uh, the, uh, the end caps are high impact ABS. Um, the face plates, front and rear, are laser engraved. Um, real nice. Uh, so let's see this thing powered up. Now one easy way for me to do this is just with one of our bat packs. Um, it's interesting to note that of course, since you can put whatever uh, flavor of DC you want in here, um, you could run it off a battery, run it off a car, run it off of a power supply. Um, and it's real important to note, this is not a power supply. This is not a regulated circuit in any fashion. Um, and, and part of part of the thinking in the beginning when we were uh, doing some prototyping and some spitballing uh, we assumed that it was going to be a regulated power supply um, but uh, so many of us and by us I mean ham guys and I guess DC guys in general um, already have some form of regulated power if we're in the shack um, or if we're in the field we're using gear that doesn't demand regulated power at least not for the most part uh, uh, most mobile uh, equipment is designed to run off of uh, uh, car voltages anyway so you've got quite a bit of range there um, in any event we'll just go ahead and plug in DC power coming from that little AGM battery and uh, 
the LCD can be difficult sometimes on camera to see, um, but the meter uh, displays continuously amps, volts, and watts. And that's a real-time display. Uh, it's continuously updating. If you were to key up a radio or something, you would immediately see the, uh, the, the amp draw jump which is convenient you know that could also clue you in if you had an issue with uh, with your rig or with an antenna or if you saw more power draw than you expected when you uh, when you keyed up um, the meter also rotates every two seconds through peak amps peak watts and maximum volts um, so this lower display is constantly scrolling and that also uh, is deliberate, of course. That's that's to show you if uh, if you've at some point pulled a lot more uh, uh, amps or watts than you expected, or at least just to know what's what's the most uh, that your setup, whatever that might be, uh, pulled at any given time. Now, if you unplug power, obviously everything goes dark and the meter resets. That's important to know. Um, you can uh, accumulate data for as long as you have constant power applied, but if you uh, disconnect power just for a moment and reapply it those uh, accumulated data points all reset um, another uh, obvious way to uh, to power something like this and 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 we're kind of assuming this is going to be one of the more uh, common ways um, this is just a, a pretty common uh, MFJ power supply um, and uh, most of you are familiar with, with what this is and, and what it does. But you can appreciate that if you had a power supply like this and a radio, um, and we're not restricting this to radios in the sense of uh, we've gotten some interest from uh, the radio control community too. Um, but in any event, if you've already got some form of regulated power, then you can run that power through this. Obviously, you, you benefit from the distribution block and the circuit protection and the USB driver. Um, but uh, boy you can really keep track of power consumption and power usage and that can be really valuable if you're in the field uh, running off of batteries or solar um, it can give you a really good idea if you're running uh, a deficit or not when you compare your incoming power uh, to your outgoing power um, so uh, in a case like this if you can see that display if I were to adjust the voltage on our power supply of course you immediately see the the uh, the upper right hand voltage field fluctuate um, if I were to then take just a inexpensive little USB desk fan and plug that into our uh, our USB port so you can see this fan is turning um, at that point we can tell that the the fan is pulling uh, 0.28 amps and uh, we would also see the watt hours accumulate um, we would see the the peak amp hours uh, uh, recorded um, and uh, I'm sure that's that some of you guys can pretty quickly appreciate why we thought this was uh, and it's gonna sound funny to say it but honestly we think it's something you need but it hasn't been made yet so either we're wrong <laughs> and this and and this device is is maybe cool um but maybe not uh, as useful as we imagine or maybe we're right and this is a device that has simply been missing from your ham shack or go bag um the thing weighs less than a pound it's obviously small it's built the way we build everything it's it's pretty tough um, uh, we'd love to build you one please come to portableuniversalpower.com my name is Bill Harrison I really appreciate your time you folks take care 73 now see you